Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32 Interconnect Matrix. It covers the main features of this matrix, which is widely used to connect various internal peripherals between each other. The Interconnect Matrix, integrated inside STM32 products, provides direct connections between peripherals. Applications benefit from these interconnections to ensure time-predictable operations, to decrease power consumption by avoiding complex management of peripheral communications through reading and writing registers using CPU instructions, and in some cases, reducing the need to loop the signal from a source to a destination through a dedicated GPIO. The interconnect matrix offers two features. First, it ensures direct and autonomous connections between peripherals, allowing removal of latency in regards to software handling, thus saving GPIO and CPU resources. Second, the interconnection between certain peripherals can even operate during low power modes. The main peripherals having direct autonomous interconnections are timers, analog IPs, clocks, extended interrupt and event controller, digital filters for sigma delta modulators, USB and system error for the connection sources, and timers and analog IPs for the connection destinations. Peripherals can be interconnected using the interconnect matrix even when the circuit is in a low power mode. The low power modes that can be used are run, sleep, and low power sleep modes, except for the USB to timer 2 connection, which can only be used in run and sleep modes. The connections from the real-time clock or comparators to low power timers can also be used in stop 0, stop 1, and stop 2 modes for low power timer 1. The interconnect matrix is mostly used for synchronizing or chaining timers, for example, allowing a master timer to reset or trigger a second slave timer, triggering an ADC or comparator through a timer event or an external interrupt, triggering a timer through an ADC when a predefined threshold value is crossed by the analog input. Timers can also be triggered by DFSDM short circuit detection or by a real-time clock interrupt at a given time or at a regular interval. Calibrating HSI-16, MSI, or LSI clocks, for example, measuring the external oscillator LSE frequency by a timer clocked by the calibrated internal oscillator. Monitoring the temperature of a connected internal temperature sensor, or the VBAT to ADC voltage. Protecting timer-driven power switches through the direct connection of system error signals to the timer break input and infrared pulse modulation signal waveform generation using two timers. This slide shows a simple example of timer synchronization. The timer 1 is used as the master timer and can reset, start, stop, or clock the timer 2 configured in slave mode. In this example, timer 1 is clocking the timer 2 so that it acts as a pre-scaler for timer 2. For more details about the interconnect matrix, refer to reference manual for STM32WB microcontrollers.